So according to recent studies, 47% of Facebook users say that Facebook has the greatest impact on their purchase behavior. And that is compared to just about 24% in 2011. Now, interestingly enough, Twitter actually ranks about 5% and lower. So what does that mean? That means that if you really want to drive purchase behaviors within all the social networks, you have to use Facebook and you have to have a Facebook presence. Now, what's amazing is that Facebook has the largest opportunities in communicating with consumers in a non-obtrusive way. So in other words, if done correctly, you can make sales without having to directly sell right now if your business doesn't have a Facebook presence that is optimized the right way you're actually missing out on a lot of potential leads sales and relationships now if you're a local business owner thinking well there's no way in the world that this impacts me then let me show you some stats now surprising stats from recent local search studies show people that use Facebook actually use Facebook for local business searches to find out what people are really saying about your business. In fact, Facebook is only outranked by Google Maps and that means if your business isn't on Facebook, there's no doubt in my mind that you're missing out on attracting prospective customers and building brand recognition. So as you can see, whether you're a local business owner or an online business owner that sells a product or service, it doesn't matter. You need to have an optimized Facebook presence or else you're leaving money on the table. Now, Facebook is not just for teenagers or college students alone. In fact, just in the USA market alone, 55% of Americans about ages 45 to 54 have a profile on the social networking site. Now, I know, I know that brings you to the big question. How do you optimize your presence on Facebook the right way? Well, we've created a 20 part video course and the purpose of it is to help you drive free traffic from Facebook and build a community of Facebook fans. Not just any type of fan, but the action taker type fan. And which is what you want in the end, which brings you results in terms of conversions, sales, profits, and more. Now this course was created in four parts to make sure that you succeed. Number one, you want to create a customized action plan. And number two, we're going to show you how to brand your company. And number three, we're going to show you the exact Facebook marketing blueprint plan. And number four, we're going to show you how to create rapid speed content creation so that you don't have to worry about sitting there for hours and hours and hours creating content. Let's jump to the outline so that you can see exactly what you're going to get into. And then I'm going to show you exact samples of the videos so you know what to expect and more. So video number one is the module one introduction. So basically, before we jump right in, we're going to show you a quick overview of the video course itself. And you're going to learn how the system works and what you need to get started. And then, of course, we go over to here and I'm going to show you how to create an action plan. Because before you actually jump right in, you want to make sure that you understand your personalized, customized action plan before you get started so that you can actually succeed. And that brings us to module two, which is branding and getting ready to get your brand onto Facebook. Because a lot of people make the mistake of just jumping on Facebook and creating a Facebook fan page and assuming that is going to work. If you do not have your brand set up, then that is going to complicate things and make things harder for you in the long run. So you want to make sure that you set yourself up for success. Then from that point, we create memorable slogans. And I'm going to show you how to use colors to sell subconsciously. So you can actually tap into the subconscious mind and create a specific environment. I'm going to show you how to create high quality and low price logos and if you do have a logo you want to upgrade it I'm going to show you how to do that as well and then of course I'm going to show you how to use mascots to brand your company then that brings us to module number three which is a Facebook traffic section from this point on we're going to actually show you how to actually drive traffic to your Facebook fan page and how to do it the correct way so this is module three I'm going to show you how to get into the right mindset how to find your demographics of your audience and find the framing of their mind so that you can understand how to reach them more impactfully. And that brings us to high engagement groups. Basically, we're going to show you how to find high engagement groups with a lot of active followers. So now what I want to do is just show you a sample video so you know exactly what to expect as part of the video course. So let's talk about video number two, which is demographics and frame of mind. Now, before we get to Facebook, I want you to know your demographics. In other words, I want you to have a picture of who you are trying to reach. 
And the more specific you are, the better. Because the more specific you are, the more you understand the person, how they feel, what the problems they face, and what kind of content, basically, that you can give them. This will help you to inc survivalism and see what we get. So it doesn't look like we have anything here, but if I type in survival, you can see you know, survival list, which is another keyword. Most likely, they have possibly families, spouses, and so for Amazon to figure that out. If I can get an idea of, okay, now I have demographics, now I want to figure ratings like this, and I will actually buy it. If they have a Kindle version, that will be helpful because. So if you're ready to take action, grab access down below. Don't worry, you're going to be able to watch the videos immediately after payment. So act now and begin optimizing your presence on Facebook the right way.